Alright, this is a tent talk. Uh, camp six. Yeah. Camp six. Yeah, I think so. We're up here in Navy Board Inlet. Uh, a little bit drowned out. The light's not really good for filming because the sun's coming right at us. It's 7.30 p.m. on August 7th. It's the seventh day or sixth day of the expedition. Yeah, it was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And the sixth day. We're going to eat during this tent talk because supper's ready. I'm having spicy Southwest style skillet. We'll see about that. And I'm having uh, Dottie's chicken and dumplings. So far, they're pretty good. Good enough that I made two bags. The uh, I had two cans of tuna before while my, uh, my uh, spicy Southwest style skillet was... Heating up. And I want to thank Rebecca for the uh, pink Himalayan salt. It is Ooh. going to good, good, good use. Man, Rebecca left us some great stuff. You need some? You don't know. You got a spicy meal. I don't know. Mine's a little bland. A little bland. I'm southern bland. Oh, yeah. Give me a salt. <laughs> Wait, is it Himalayan? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> 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 we think we saw some peak salt on top of these uh, little snow and uh, ice little banks that were along the river today. River? The uh, ocean. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> the ocean. The uh, inlet. We're in Navy Board Inlet, as we mentioned. It was a real nice, easy start. Nice, calm, warm. Yeah, first four hours. Doable. The others got had to earn after lunch but well, we, we did go ahead see our first polar bear we made a crossing eight mile crossing at about noon got to this side so we crossed from by lot island from an island to a peninsula Borden peninsula that we're on now as soon as we landed and started coming up the bank uh then the wind picked up so it stayed good for the crossing but then as soon as that happened we also jumped a polar bear and he started running running down the bank as fast as he could away, jumping in the water away from us away from us which, yeah. which we liked well yeah he was like he wanted no part of us so you know i have a feeling the local polar bears around here as long as we're this close to the town of pond inlet and with enough activity that they're they're probably afraid of humans you know they've all probably been shot at so yeah. it may change as we get a little more isolated where you know polar bears things are different for them mm-hmm they run the place. Yeah. But that was pretty exciting. And then, as Jeff mentioned, we had a strong 16 to 18 mile per hour headwind after we made the crossing. So, man, our progress slowed considerably. Big old waves we're going mm. into. We're stable mm. enough. They're good kayaks. But but the other highlight was these giant icebergs we passed. There's a handful of them. Some of them with big, one with the big old arch, you know, classic looking iceberg. The beautiful white and blue colors. And then we rounded, uh, what was it, Desolation Bend, Lonesome Point, Long Point, Good Luck Point, some Desperation Point. We came around this point, which right across uh, from um, Canada, Canada Point, and uh, south southwest of it. And uh, then there was a whole bunch of icebergs off in the distance, and we, we were able to make camp at this place with a nice stream. So we're able to refill our water, filter it out. We're getting a little low on it in this desert situation. The barber calls for decent wind conditions for the next day. So hopefully we'll, as we make our way up Navy Board Inlet, it, it won't be uh, as harsh as it was today. Um, but like I said, it wasn't treacherous or anything. It was just slow going. Except for the you know, polar bear. Except for the polar bear, he held the butt pretty good. Yeah, he moved pretty fast. I was really impressed. That and the fact that, you know, when the wind's blowing, it's, if the sun is behind clouds, it's pretty chilly. Oh, man. But once the sun pops out, it's like, nice. you know, it's kind of all right. But, yeah, as soon as it goes behind a cloud, man, it just, and temperature it, drops, it, just it's freezing. It's partly cloudy every day while we're uh, paddling, but you can see, man, it is blue <laughs> sky out there right now. As soon as we made, as soon as we came to shore, 
that sun popped out. It's been out ever since. It's kind of, there's just something wrong about that. It would been nice to have out there in the daytime. Or while we're out paddling. But anyway. At least it will be warm while we sleep here. And the other highlight. We fixed Jeff's uh, zipper on a sleeping bag that broke last night. So yeah. That was kind of nice. Mm. We're starting to get a little stinky. Um, there's not... You know, we do have some clean water with these creeks, but, you know, they are sub-freezing temperatures. So we are not going to get into them. We're waiting for the hot spring to come up. But in the meantime, we're uh, we're quite fragrant, and we're getting more so. I heard the water was 30 degrees back in the sound. Easily. Back in Eclipse. Mm -hmm. But uh, hopefully in the next day, we might be able to get to the northern tip of or the mouth of Navy Board Inlet start seeing Lancaster sound that'd be kind of cool um, and uh, Rebecca is in Ottawa right now and she's seeing if she can hook up with Robert um, Ewens as he's making his way across the Northwest Passage in a John boat maybe meet in Cambridge Bay and meet us up at Fort Ross that would be really really cool it'd be great to see Rebecca um, and uh, otherwise, you know, our hands hurt as usual with these expeditions. They're all cut up. And we wake up in the morning and they're the size of sausages. And they're splitting all our cuts from the night before that we forgot about. And they're saying, oh, yeah, I remember all those now. But uh, anyway, that's just something we've always dealt with on these paddling expeditions is the hand pain. Um, and then, um, as Jeff mentioned, the cold while we're paddling, but as long as you're moving, it's it's not so not so horrible. It ranges here from pleasant and sunny, warm, to you know just chilly, cold and windy. Well, yeah. the, the wind chill. Everything in, in between. The worst thing is a wind chill. Wind chill, but also the wind chill if the sun's not out. Oh yeah, that's if really. If the sun's bad. out, it makes a huge difference. That's really bad. Real doable. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, we're gonna eat our supper and. Scrub our teeth, at least our teeth are not, you know, rotten out of our heads. We're clean our teeth can't clean our bodies. But I'll, I'll do toothpaste in a 30 degree water. Oh, yeah. It's nice to have some clean teeth. And, um, and there in the day, we're not stopping just because it's too cold. Normally, we'd stop sometime, most time on an expedition, but once we're moving, we're just eating, uh, we're drinking spiz drinking water and then uh, Rebecca left us these these nuts these mixed nuts all seal and milled, which is really nice those are we've been living off of those things so that's where we all, all we eat during the day yeah. Yeah, we don't we don't stop we used to sometimes we'll raft up or we used to to eat but now we're not doing that really we rafted yeah. up today to pee and that's a man that's an ordeal with all these layers on when it's cold on a really cold windy day it's it's a, that's a 30-minute shot right there because, you know, PFD, a dry top jacket, dry top bottoms, whatever you got underneath. I mean, it is, and a spray skirt. So well, you know, there's like eight layers. On the upside, about half my urine ended up <laughs> in the urine cup today, and the other half, of course, went to the cockpit. So um, more fun with hygiene. I took this. I took the. I took the time. I scored. I thought I had, but. There was a misfire. <laughs> as soon as, as soon as, as soon as we hit blast off, it's like, oh no, oh no. And how do you, you know, once you're starting, you can't stop. And we got, um, we'll, um, that's about as far we'll get in the uh, whole Freo report. <laughs> we won't go into any more detail on. Well, I'm just saying that's our, uh, that that is our stops when it's real cold. With right. All these layers on. Just uh, just to take care of business is a 20-minute ordeal. Yeah. So we don't want to eat up more time than that. And, and we'll only have these layers on when the weather's windy and cold. Yeah. Which, Other than that, we're, we're, we're paddling with no spray skirts. Uh, you know, a lot of times no dark, dry tops on, just a shirt and a PFD. That's it. But you know? today it was full of Cochamal. Yeah. Other yeah, days, it's, it's uh, everything you got. And then at the end of the day, after we made camp, 
all these ice, little little bitty icebergs about the size of Buicks came across um, Prince, um, um, Navy, Board. Navy Board Inlet and uh, hit our shore here. So it was kind of neat to watch. And man, they were making good time. That just shows how fast the wind was going. Um, yeah, West spotted them a couple of miles out with the video camera. I said, man, these things are incoming. Big time. Big time. Well, keep tooting along tomorrow. Yeah, we think it'll be realistically more like two days before we turn into Lancaster. Straight. Yeah. Yeah. The head. The headwinds are really. They even, really. Even if we get a, if the lay down, if the wind lays down, and we get a full calm day, we'll get about ninety percent of the distance done. Yeah. So that's why it would still be two days, no matter what. But more than likely, the wind will just, you know, weather patterns gonna stay how it is. I imagine. We're camping at the tip of Inuit land here bordering on the parkland but the further we get up north the uh, more Inuit land there will be and there might be some cabins for us to stay in that'd be nice not that the cabins are luxurious or anything but it just it's nice not to have to go to the effort to put up the tent and take it down I mean this is a four-person tent and it you know it didn't go up as, as quick as a two or three and uh, it'd just be nice not to have to pack it away in the morning save some time this morning this morning we got down to two and a half hours Hopefully we can cut that down in the morning. We'll see. That's it for me. You got anything else? That's it. <clears throat> All right. Good night.